Chairman, yeah. You have four years. Within one month, what is it mandate now, Pansa? You've thrown the mandate away. Who see who Haruna as a minority leader? James Averji as deputy minority leader. Muntaka as whip. Yeah. Omuye five. Where you three? And I will join deputy whips. I have said earlier, I said, as for change, nobody's against change. But there's an argument from some people who say, oh, Haruna, six years. Mm -hmm. oh. People who don't, I've said earlier, that people who, who are ignorant. But their ignorance is laced in arrogance. It borders on stupidity. And I don't pity them. And they say, why? When we were in opposition from 2001 to 2008, the current speaker, ASK Bagwin, he was minority leader for eight years. So there's a president. I repeat, Bagwin was minority leader for eight years. Yeah. He served under Alajete and Regina Sechi Hughes. So... If it is in uh, uh, Haruna's destiny that he must also serve eight years, what is wrong with it? And I said, back when quite a bit, I said, it's not mandatory. It's not mandatory. Yeah. It's not mandatory. Mm -hmm. It's by consensus. And so if it is by consensus, so there was no brouhaha because there was consensus. Is that not it? Subsequently, we came into power. I am a majority leader. Yeah. Uh, Kumbu, Anumu, all those people. Consensus. We've always had national chairmen who have been level-headed. Mm -hmm. So they have always steered the affairs of the party in the direction of sobriety. Sobriety. Today you have a national chairman who thinks he's bigger than everybody. He had the effrontery to insult the founder. The founder is a barking dog. The founder's wife has, can go away if she wants to come back. She must write an application letter to him. He will vet before she can come back. This is a guy who has fed his ego. He comes, he destroys. For some of he says all kinds of things. Congress falls for his bait. And so he wins. There's a clip of his doing the rounds. Saying some things anyway. Mm -hmm. So he thinks that he's bigger than the party. Today is asking Haruna. Haruna then should pro provide the neck minutes, minutes yeah. that appointed them. Why? I was at FEC when Haruna and Co were appointed. Mm -hmm. Who says everybody was happy that Haruna was appointed at the time? Nope, not everybody, mm -hmm. but there was consensus. Okay. And that's the beauty of democracy. When there's consensus and the majority say, this is it, that is it. And I've listened to Muntaka, the, the, the chief whip. Haruna hasn't spoken yet. No problem. Averji has not spoken yet. No problem. So if you want to change, no problem. Yeah. Where is the consensus? Now you, you say you have written to Babi, the speaker, Nicodemus. When Nicodemus in the Bible left to go and look, go and look for Jesus Christ, mm. he went on his own volition. Okopen Ajin Kwan salvation. It had nothing to do with the Pharisees. Now, Odomomo. And he's saying, and if you listen to us, can you play that producer? Mm -hmm. Do you have the, the voice of Asiyah Nukitia? Which one? Eh? The, one I, the, the one I gave you. Mm. Play it, play it, play it. Let your listeners hear it. So that yeah, we can, sure. We'll yeah. work on it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, it will come in the course of time. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you say you have written to. Oh, yeah, uh, this is it. Ben, yeah. Okay. Ninety-eight point nine. Why did we struggle to get an NDC person elected as a Speaker of Parliament? There are certainly some advantages, and those advantages can be tapped into when your leadership with is the Speaker of Parliament. So we cannot have a situation what? where MPP leadership is cooperating with the Speaker and our NDC leadership have challenges cooperating with the speaker. And advantages can be tapped into when your leadership <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, uh, complying. My priorities in Parliament is to see our parliamentary caucus working together and also cooperating with the Speaker of Parliament. Why did we struggle views, views or interviews. to listen to get the dog? He's got you on happy. Happy. 98.9 FM. <laughs> Koku, <laughs> uh, that's your national chairman. Yes, a leader. Not only chairman, but leader. Yeah, the leader he, of your party. He's the leader of the party. He says that mm -hmm. the reason for that change, you know. Meanwhile, in Ghana, yeah, a study, you know, the mm -hmm. you know, say for election purposes, say Haruna on T economics, I say. Well, on T finance, I say. Mm -hmm. After six years as minority leader, mm. on T she, I say. It's not going ranking member at all forcing. Say only lead minority. No. That was your reason in Ghana. I've got to do London. Say I won't know. Because I was at a coffee business in him. And I said TV in him. Or they can't hush it. Good. And they found it too. Mean to me. And he's not talking about economic reasons again. You know why? That was a lie. If you're looking for the person in that parliament, if, if assuming it's for economic reasons yeah. and finance, then the person who should have gotten it is James Aveji. Yeah. The deputy minority leader mm -hmm. from Ketu North, the World Bank of the NDC, my home region. Yeah. before, so you're not minority leader, mm -hmm. When we are giving you the numbers, 2016, when we lost miserably. We gave you majority seats in that parliament, 25. We went with 25 and came out with 25. All the, those are the 10 regions. Yeah. All the 10 regions, all the nine regions lost seats. Volta pay and they did 100% buy. Why didn't we get minority leader? Now you demote us. You say you are demoting us from deputy minority, minority to chief whip. You think we are excited? We are not excited at all. As you get there. We are not. Because if we had to buy into your argument, says about economics and finance, then Averji should have been elevated to minority leader. Why? He also has a PhD. And a practicing tax finance person before he even entered parliament, he's still practicing on the, on the side. Eight years, he was the chairman of the finance committee of parliament. Now, he is currently the chairman of the public accounts committee of parliament. And that committee, when... A party is in power. It is an opposition person who chairs the public accounts committee. Averji is chairing the public accounts committee. Such a very important committee. More important than being ranking member on economic and economics and finance. So if I say it is to be taken seriously. Averji should have been promoted to minority leader. But because he was lying. Ah, chichin the come because now the narrative is that ah, as you get here, if you want somebody with economics and finance to be your minority leader, then it stands to reason, uh, yeah, to reason, to reason, yeah, that somebody with economics and finance must be our flag bearer. 
Dr. Kwamna Dufour must be our flag bearer. Mm-hmm. So suddenly, the popular, popularity ratings of Dr. Dufour has gone very high. Mm. Oh, extremely high. Masa, that's... Mm. That's the that's, 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 that's the first comment, you know, a goof. What? But that's God. That mm-hmm. is God working. Yeah. So Dr. Dufour's ratings... Mm. If it was a stock market... Boom. Boom. Bullish stock, like by name, the bull. Yeah. So doctors, Dr. Dufour's stocks have become very bullish on the stock market. The calls that we are people are getting. The party leader now. The party leader say, economics, economics and finance. Economics and finance. Into and, do, and Dr. Dufour's record is there. Yeah. And I'm not yet too hard. It's a tape in it. Your mama very weird. It is there. It is there. Into Afe, we're getting it for Ghana. We're happy. 98. And we're going to share your mama with UK. I'm sure they have had some meeting and the question is about general, why have you promoted Dufour? You know I promoted Dufour. In the Abu Kanisim. So President Muhammad Nankaza, all man talk or Chatham House no. One of the things he said, he said, in Africa, mm. they shouldn't vote for people above 80 years to become president. It's an insult. Because Dr. Dufour just turned 80 or is turning 80. Yeah. He cannot cut Dr. Dufour down, so he must wrap it around the age. So everybody above 80 will not vote for you. If your logic is that people above 80 are, 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 not, are senile, then I will go to my I will go to every old people's home and campaign. I want to be 80. I'm aspiring to be 80. I will come crusade that all those of us aspiring to be 80 years shouldn't vote for you because you say when we are you yourself, you almost you are, you are getting there very soon, unless you don't want to be 80. Mm. Maybe you're not even 70. Yeah. And I'm saying, you know, maybe he doesn't want to be 80, but that's his mm-hmm. business. Yeah. John Muhammad, you know, now see, look at Tianko Kanko Or see, they are not cooperating with the speaker. Into the speaker, Abbas, I'm no more. I see, look at has roped back being into the debate now. First, me and him said, John Muhammad, I see, look at Tianifi Fikwiti. Mm-hmm. 